The naughties. I love the word already because it sounds a bit cheeky. In English, naught actually means the number zero. The naughties refers to the decade from 2000 to 2009. When society started to explore the internet, memes became a thing and Chuck Norris was spammed constantly on message boards. It also marks the Amazon period, a time that triggers a lot of nostalgia in me. So why do I miss Amazon? Well, for once, communication was very different back when Amazon was popular. It was much easier to actually have a continuous and meaningful conversation. Back then, after school or work, you would go on Amazon to talk to people. Sometimes you would send someone a text beforehand to invite them to meet up later. It wasn't until the mid noughties before some of the biggest communication platforms we know today were founded and gained more members from the general public. Before that happened, people were less informed and distracted by what was going on across the internet, in the world and on each other's profiles. Most of the time, you saw someone's party pictures because they actually send them to you. Personally, through Amazon. Unlike these days, when everybody has their own platform to share their life on. Here. Have my emo bullshit, you bunch of wankers! Hey! What? Did something happen? Ah! Yeah, back in the Amazon days, communication was often more personal and less scattered. When someone was online, most likely they actually were, and you could talk to them. Compare that to today, when everybody seems to be constantly online on Skype, Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp, Line or Kick, but really, they aren't actually available. Not for a proper talk, at least. You can't assume anymore that just because someone is online, they have time to talk. These days, I sometimes have conversations that flow from one chat service to the other. It's rare to actually have a continuous conversation for a longer period of time, like when I used Amazon. And not to forget, people are constantly distracted. I am too. If I'm not lost on wiki, learning about a random word I just read on my blog, I'm most likely deep into YouTube, while I'm also reading the latest news, while I'm listening to music, while I'm upvoting my favorite content on Reddit. Try to have a good conversation while you're doing that. It's hard, I admit, so I only do that with a handful of people. I guess we've just become more selfish. We want to know everything and be everywhere at the same time. So the problem is communication overload. I'm not saying that back when we started to use Amazon this didn't happen already, but it has gotten much worse ever since. And how do you tell now how meaningful new connections actually are? How do you figure out if someone likes you? A good indication to find out if someone liked you on Amazon was by asking if they could send you a song. You see, in the beginning of the noughties, internet was rather slow. So sometimes it could take up to an hour to receive just one file. During this pirate party slash transfer of goods, your crush would have to stay online. If they didn't want to commit to this or told you to just use Kaza or LimeWire to download the song, which meant the danger of exposing your computer to viruses and porn, chances are they didn't like you a lot. Now sending anything just takes a few clicks and barely more than a minute or two. Another reason why I miss Amazon is because you could tell a lot about a person by just looking at their nickname. Yes, your Amazon list maybe was a chaotic mess of emoticons and song lyrics, but with many people, you could tell their state of mind or what they were up to. 
If you had a fight with your other half, big chance they were still mad at you if they had a passive-aggressive status beneath their nickname. Yes, subtweeting all started on MSN. Talking about being sneaky, remember how easy it was to ask risky questions on MSN? If someone liked you, for example, or make random remarks about someone's appearance and say they were hot? If your conversation partner replied in a weird way, you could always say that a friend suddenly took over your messenger account while you were on the toilet taking a shit. I mean, how often did you hang out with your friends behind your computer? Quite a lot, I assume. Today, everybody is very protective of their phones, computers and communication apps. Few people will buy a story about how your brother suddenly got into your account to ask about a girl's bra size. So the flirting game definitely has changed. We have everybody, including their moms, on our social media. There is barely any social etiquette regarding adding or following a new person. In 2004, though, you'd actually ask for someone's MSN. This was a first indication someone might like you. Or this. It could also mean they were just a friend trying really hard to make your Amazon and computer crash. What the f- Free tits brain? They were some generous aliens. Yes, I can see that. But why do you need boobs? You're a stick. Hey, we're on YouTube, remember? What? Tits for views? Huh? <laughs>